afternoon. My name is Donna Fiesel and I'm your host of Afternoon Drive Home on IEC Radio and Christ Radio. We are your source for news and entertainment. You can also find us on television channel 182 on Charter Communications as well as Abundance TV which is found on Roku, Apple TV and Amazon Fire. You know what? I am a skin care freak and it's hard for me to be a skin care freak because I have to be really careful what I put on my skin. It's very, very sensitive. You can see how pale I am. And so that's all part of it as well. As I, we live on a farm, 38 acres of land, and I love to go outside. But I have to be super careful because if I even take a glance at poison oak, it jumps out on my skin. So I have to be super careful what I do. I have to be careful what I use for medicines and that kind of thing. And besides, I just like buying or, or just like using something on my skin then I know what's in it. You have to be really careful with what's in things these days. So with that said, I have um, put together a formula and this is uh, an awesome formula for skin care. You can use it's light enough. You can use it all over your skin. You can use it on your face. You can use it wherever. And this is what it looks like. This is made and you can see how that kind of goes into your skin just like that. And this is something I use on my face. I use it just everywhere. And this is just a, a super neat cream and super easy to make. So let me tell you what's in it first of all. And we're going to ahead and get this stuff started. Now it's really good to boil the ingredients, okay? I like to use these little tiny um, little containers right here and I'll put my label on it, Donna's Designs. And so you can do this just for yourself if you want to just make something for yourself. Or you can do this for your friends if you'd like. You can actually get those little candy, you know, those little candy um, silicone thingies. You can get those and make these. And these are really cool because they are like lotion bars. And you can make these and give them away for Christmas. Valentine's Day is coming up. New Year's, just whatever. Birthdays, the whole works. I have some water boiling right now. So this is what this is my recipe, okay? So I'm going to ahead and move a few things out of the way. We're going to ahead and get this started boiling, and then I'm going to tell you about the benefits of all of these products right here that you're about to see. Now this is going to be enough to make probably about four of these, and these are about two ounces, and or maybe even more. And if I've got more, you know what I can do? I can use them for lotion bars and put them in neat little containers. Okay, so what I'm going to use is one cup of extra virgin olive oil. You can get the store brands. It doesn't matter. Um, go to Albertville Foodland Plus and get the store brand. It's just as good as any national brand. But make sure you get the extra virgin olive oil. That's the best. Now you could use other oils as well. This happens to be my favorite. So let's go ahead and get one cup of this olive oil. Okay, so there we go. There's a cup. And I'll go ahead and get that out of my way. You've got to combine all the ingredients. Now, another thing you'll notice is I'm always using a glass container. Um, it's just cleaner. I just much rather do that. I'll put this over here on the side. Um, now, what I need is I need eight tablespoons of bee wax, beeswax. So let me tell you, this came from our bees. You know, we are beekeepers. And so this is just some that comes from it. Now, you can put it up, you can actually cut it up in tiny, tiny little pieces, which is what I did. Beeswax is very hard. And I'll tell you something else you can do. You can buy these little moles, and these are one ounce moles. And if I just know that I need a one ounce of beeswax, and I've got that right there, and I can just toss that in. But the whole idea is you want to heat this, okay, on the stove in a double boiler. Now, what I mean by a double boiler, you've got your little thing, it's just a little container, it could be anything. And just fill it about halfway full of water, okay? Because you don't want water boiling all over the place. And that's what's going to happen. Okay, so let's go in ahead. And these have been cut into little pellet size. This is my beeswax. I'll go in ahead and toss that in there. Every little morsel. Now, what this is going to do, beeswax is really good. And it's also going to harden. Um, it'll help it to harden just like it did in the little container that I gave you just a minute ago. That over here to the side, just to get it out of the way. Now I'd like to have um, eight tablespoons of coconut oil. Now coconut oil will, will kind of fool you. You'd think, oh, it smells like coconut. It really does. <laughs> this is just an all-natural coconut oil. And I'm with my tablespoon right here it is. So I'll just reach right in here. And 
coconut oil is not what you think it is so it's kind of hardened it's almost like the beeswax but not quite as hard as beeswax is okay there's one two i'm not sure what that equals to in thuts i, sh I should have already done that but i just didn't <laughs> do it okay there's um two let's get three Use my finger, it's clean. Four, and then five. There, and then six. And then there's seven, and then eight. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to go on ahead and just stick the, well, I'm not going to do it yet because I want to show you something else. Okay, let's take a little bit of the shea butter because we're going to use shea butter too. Now, I'm going to tell you the benefits of all of these products. Love the coconut oil. It's so good for you. Okay, now let's go ahead and get the shea butter. And I wanted to show you something about the shea butter okay this is what shea butter now this is the african shea butter i have a reliable company i order all of my stuff through um there's a company called new directions aromatics it's new directions aromatics.com they've been in business i don't know probably about 30 years as long as i've been buying stuff from them and they are a fantastic company shea butter is really good to use see how that it just kind of compresses like this shea butter is a really good butter to use um, if you have ashy skin i know a lot of my um my black customers have always loved african shea butter and um, i do too I, even though i have light colored skin um african shea butter is just super good for you okay now just gonna make sure i've got every little drop Put that in there. I'm going to go ahead and set this on a double boiler. Well, wait, got one more thing I wanted to add. This is um, to Joba oil right here, and I love this. Now, you could use vitamin E oil, just you know, whatever works for you, but this is what I love. Okay, so I'm going to need um, two tablespoons of this. Okay, and make sure it's kind of a level tablespoon, so what I'm doing right here. Okay, there's one and two um, now you only want to melt this just melt it okay don't cook it and the reason i say that if you cook it it's going so this is all natural we're not putting any weird ingredients in here by the way you need to always clean off the caps okay because I'm, if you're as messy as i am so here I am cleaning it off. I love this. Make sure your stuff is all 100% organic. Now this right here is 100% pure. I get this from Now Solutions. You can find it and Google it. It's called Now. And it's moisturizing. It's for the skin, hair, and body. And you know something? You can actually use this stuff right here on your hair as well. Now you won't use much of it. And I'll, just, I'll show you. So I've got just a little bit of it. You don't want to drench it on your hair. So see, and it keeps your hair so shiny. And I've got just, I'm just using a little bit of it that's just a little bit of residue on my hands. Now, now we're also going to use essential oils. Um, my two favorite oils together are a citrus blend along with a lavender. But now I'm not going to add this yet. I want to wait until everything is melted first. You're going to be amazed. I mean, you can probably smell it through television. This stuff is so good. Okay, now let's go ahead again about the ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and put my beeswax up. You know, we're beekeepers, and not only do I love the honey, I also love the beeswax. Okay, and this is going to give us a little info about the ingredients that we got in. We're going ahead and print this off. I wanted to make sure I did not forget anything. Okay, um, for the first part, almond oil. Um, or your extra virgin olive oil, um, this would be like an emollient. In, in other words, this is, you got your hard um, butters that we've put together. I'm looking at it, make sure it doesn't boil over. Okay, so you've got your hard butters, which is going to be your shea butter and your beeswax. Those are your hard, you've got to have something soft. And so something soft would be the almond oil or the extra virgin olive oil. 
those have to be combined to make it to where it's spreadable. In other words, if all I put in this was just the beeswax and the coconut oil, I would or the shade butter, I wouldn't be able to get this out of the jar. Now, I don't know if you can tell, this is hardened. I have to kind of use it with my finger, just like this right here. And then I'll, I'll put it on my skin so you can see what I'm talking about. What happens is I want it hard, not so hard that I can't get it out of the jar, but I want it hard so it just it just goes right into my skin. See, there is nothing in it now. I mean, there's nothing on my skin except for this awesome, awesome, luxurious oil. And it's melting right now, which is an awesome thing. Um, again, this is what we're making. So let me go ahead and explain a few things to you. Um, the olive oil or the extra virgin oil um, is an emollient, which means it works to soften, soften the skin. Um, and then also um, emollients moisture the skin and decrease flaking and drying by filling in the spaces between the skin cells. Again, I'm not an esthetician, but I have a really good esthetician friend in Charlotte, North Carolina. And so she, has, she sends me information about what each product does. Okay, um, almond oil and extra virgin olive oil has been used to deal with eczema and other types of dry, irritated skin. It's soothing and it's revitalizing. It can help you improve your complexion. I love this stuff. Oh, and another thing, if you have age spots, my skin is 63 years old. So no facelifts, no nothing. I use this stuff, only natural stuff on my skin. Oh, and by the way, your extra virgin olive oil, your jojoba oil, those things right there, you can use those as a serum and then put the moisturizer on top of your skin. So use just a tiny bit. Now, it doesn't take much, just a tiny bit. And I've been told by Mary Kay people <laughs> to only use this finger and this finger right here when it has anything to do under the eyeballs. And I've listened to them, and I have done that. And also, using your skin, to me, is much better than an applicator because using your fingers and using your skin, there's a little heat that comes out of your skin, see, out of your fingers. And when you're putting this and you're pressing any kind of a lotion or an oil on your face or under your eyes, that heat in your skin helps that to go into the heat right here on your face as well. Now, the second part, this also contains virgin coconut oil. And then one study has shown to have a particularly powerful effect when coming up against free radicals. That's something else we've got to worry about. Um, you've got smog, you've got gas, you've got, you know, traffic, you know, smog, all those kinds of things that can cause some just major issues on your skin. Even though we live out in the country, you know, a lot of chicken houses out in here, big trucks go up and down the road all the time. And those do emit all kinds of fuels and oils and that kind of things, which are radicals going into your skin. And we don't want that to happen. Just as a reminder, free radicals are unstable molecules that can damage our cells once they try to snatch an extra electron from other molecules in the body. This antioxidant capacity is a beauty bonus and has several aging effects. Now, other ingredients surrounding this face cream, we've got beeswax, shea butter, and then the jojoba oil. And you can also use vitamin E oil, okay? Beeswax, by the way, is a natural salve and now you can't just use a beeswax on your face <laughs> it's impossible to do so you've got to mix it in with something else which is are the ingredients that we're mixing right now together um protects the surface layer of the skin against harmful environmental elements it contains vitamin e which also helps the skin cell regeneration and overall skin health now the shea butter hydrates and softens the skin and it has these anti-inflammatory properties to boot. Vitamin E adds to the antioxidant effects of this face lotion and it's, it softens the skin as well. Okay, now what I did is I quadrupled the ingredients to this recipe. Now, if you want to make some just for yourself, let me show you what you, tell you what you can use. We're gonna to have to go into a commercial break. Okay, first of all, you can go with one quarter cup of almond oil or extra virgin olive oil, okay? Two tablespoons of beeswax, and you can buy it at the grocery store. I'm not the grocery store. You can buy it at um, any of your Hobby Lobby stores and that kind of thing. And buy it in pellets. It's just a little bit easier to use if you're going to do that. Or if you know a beekeeper, buy it from them. It is 100%. We know it's all natural. Two tablespoons of coconut oil. You can use one half teaspoon of vitamin E oil. Um, jojoba oil is really good. That's what I'm using here. One tablespoon of shea butter. 
and then you want to melt all of these ingredients and then and it's getting pretty close to melting right now and then we're going to add our essential oils okay and make sure that these essential oils are 100 percent pure okay if you go with a fragrance oil it's not the same fragrance oil is just not as and it's not all natural either so if you need something all natural to go on your skin and you got delicate skin yeah you need to do the essential let's go ahead and cut to a commercial break and we're going to be right back in just a few minutes and i'm going to start looking at a few things make sure everything's cool the Hatter Cafe and Country Inn is nestled in the northeast corner of Alabama the Beautiful in the delightful town of Mentone. We're located on top of scenic Lookout Mountain near Little River and DeSoto State Park and located only five minutes from shopping and restaurants. There is also a nearby community walking path and golf course. We welcome everyone through the doors and we are committed to outstanding service for all guests. At the Hatter Cafe and Country Inn, we invite people from all walks of life to come and get away from it all, enjoy the open spaces, treetop views, fresh clean air, and experience southern hospitality at its finest. We look forward to hosting you. To reserve a special event, or if you would love a special getaway at the Country Inn, you can call us at 256-634-2018. Let Rhonda at Rhonda's Elite Tax LLC take the burden off you for all your tax needs. I know because Rhonda has been taking care of my business since 2013. I feel Rhonda works for me because she knows the direct questions to ask to better benefit my unique business in order for me to get back the biggest refund possible. Rhonda is an ongoing student and she knows tax laws are in a constant change every year. Call 256-281-9903 for an appointment to take the dread out of getting your taxes done. Rhonda is located at 11968 U.S. Highway 431 in Boaz. Again, that number is 256 281 9903. And let Rhonda's Elite Tax LLC champion your personal and business taxes. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and my employees and I want to thank each and every one of you for your continued support. With everything going on right now, your rest is so important. That's why we're having the biggest my pillow sale ever. Not only are my bed pillows as low as $19.98, but you can get the best body pillows ever. Regular $89.98, now only $29.98. Take your rest on the go with our roll and go anywhere my pillows for only $14.98. And we have our new couch and accent pillows. They aren't just for looks. They have my pillows patented adjustable fill that gives you that amazing my pillow comfort. In this economy, you get the best gifts ever for the best prices ever. So go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code and you get deep discounts on body, couch, bolster pillows, and so much more, including my original bed pillows for as low as $19.98. Please order now while quantities last. At Miracle Pottery, each pottery item is hand-turned from durable stoneware clay body and non-scratch high-fire glaze. Dishwasher oven and microwave safe, our handcrafted dinnerware and bakeware will last a lifetime, staying just as beautiful as the day it was born. Each pot is signed first with a cross in thanks to our Lord, our name, and then the year. We say a tiny prayer for the receiver of each piece that they receive abundant blessings in their lives. It's not just about pottery. We're located in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains near Mentone in Valley Head, Alabama. Miracle Pottery is nestled at the base of the hills at 7871 Alabama Highway 117 between Gadsden, Alabama and Chattanooga, Tennessee. Please go to our website, MiraclePottery.com, for more info about our other getaway cottages. You can also call us at 256-635-6863. Patterson's Music and Jewelry is a full-line music store offering guitar repair, setup and sound installation equipment, as well as instrument rentals and new and used guitars and amps. 
We offer jewelry at affordable prices and jewelry repair, watch batteries and link removal, and we offer personalized jewelry such as fingerprint, mother's rings, and pendants. Shop in historic downtown Fort Payne on Galt Avenue. Hours are 9 to 5 Monday through Friday and 9 to 2 on Saturday. Call 256-845-4115. That's 256-845-4115. And thank you for trusting Patterson's Music and Jewelry. back. Don't you just love our sponsors? We have the absolute best. And we would appreciate when you shot with our sponsors that you mentioned you saw them on this program. Definitely would appreciate that. My name is Donna Fiesel and I'm your host of Afternoon Drive Home. I'm in the kitchen right here. This is where I make all of my items, my skincare, candles, soaps, everything is done right here in this kitchen. And I have a blast doing it. I wish you could smell this place. It smells awesome. While we're still waiting on this to everything to go ahead and boil and melt over, you've got to melt everything completely. I want to talk to you about what um, is shea butter. And a couple of reasons, well, a few reasons you want to add this to your regular routine. Now you can, again, this is an all natural product. It's got to be used up pretty quick because it can turn rancid. Again, all natural, that means everything is great. It's got probably about a six month sh um, shelf life on it. Okay, now. What is shea butter? It's a fat that's extracted from the nuts of the shea tree. What I happen to have is different forms of shea butter. I've got the African shea butter. It's, I just love it. It's just so good. It's so creamy. It's so soft. It's solid at warm temperatures and has an off-white or an ivory color. We got the one that has the ivory color. Shea trees are native to West Africa, and most shea butter still comes from that region. Shea butter has been used as a cosmetic ingredient for centuries. It's high concentration of vitamins and fatty acids combined with an easy to spread consistency makes it a great product for soothing smoothing and conditioning your skin. Now, number one, it's safe for all skin types. You don't have to wor worry about, well, I've got oily skin or I've got dry skin. My friend down here has, I wanted to buy something for a gift for her. I don't know what her skin type is. It doesn't matter. You're all cool. I'm going to ahead and turn that off. It's just about melted down. Um, there's no medical literature documented to an allergy to topical shea butter as well. Now, it's very low in proteins that can trigger some allergies, okay? And make sure your friend is not allergic to shea butter. It would be rare that someone is. But anyway, it could happen. Um, shea butter doesn't contain chemical irritants known to dry out the skin. It doesn't clog the pores. So it's, it's appropriate for nearly every skin type. And another reason I like using it on my face is some oils, you have to be afraid what you use on your face because it can clog up the oils. And, and, and because I'm prone to acne, even at my age. And so, again, this is really, really good for my skin. It's moisturizing. Shea butter is typically used for moisturizing effects. These benefits are tied to shea's fatty acid content and makes it an all-around all great, great skincare item. It restores a barrier between the skin and the outside environment, holding moisture in and reducing your risk of dryness. We're at the time of the year right now, summertime as well. Now, all year you want to moisturize your skin, but especially now when you have these really cold temperatures outside. It won't make your skin oily, which is why I use it. I still have oily skin. It, uh, shea butter contains high levels of linoleic acid, and these there's a couple of acids in here. They balance each other out, which means shea butter is easy for your skin to absorb and won't make your skin look oily after application. Again, I got to be careful because I'm shining like crazy if I use some, too much of the good stuff. The plant esters of shea butter have been found to have anti-inflammatory properties. When applied to the skin, shea triggers um, your inflammatory cells to slow their production. It helps minimize irritation caused by environmental factors such as dry weather, look at this cold dry weather on, as well as skin conditions such as eczema. It's also an antioxidant. Shea butter has significant levels of vitamins A and E, which means it promotes strong antioxidant activity. Antioxidants are important anti-aging agents. They protect your skin cells from free radicals that can lead to premature aging and dull-looking skin. It's antibacterial. Okay, a 2012 study suggests that oral doses of shea bark extract, not the shea butter here, but the extract can lead to decreased um, activity 
in animals. Although more research is needed, it could indicate possible antibacterial benefits in humans. Because of this, some speculate that topical application may decrease the amount of acne caused, causing bacteria on the skin. That's what causes acne. acne. Uh, let's see, it's antifungal, and which means the products, any shea tree products, have been established as powerful ingredients to fight skin infections caused by fungi. Um, while shea butter may not be able to treat every kind of fungal infection, we know that it kills spores of the fungi that causes ringworm and athlete's foot. It may also help prevent acne. It helps to boost collagen production. This is something that women are always looking for, and men. Shea butter contains, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it for you, it's T-R-I-T-E-R-P-E-N-E-S. These naturally occurring chemical compounds are thought to deactivate collagen fiber destruction. They help minimize the appearance of fine lines and result in plumper skin. So why are you going to go spend a whole bunch of money and uh, for something that's not natural to go on your skin, a little natural. It helps promote cell regeneration. So Shea's moisturizing and antioxidant properties work together to help your skin generate healthy new cells. Your body is constantly making new cells and getting rid of dead skin cells. You actually get rid of anywhere between 30,000 and 40,000 old skin cells each day. <laughs> If we just knew what was coming off of us. Dead skin cells sit on the top. New skin cells form at the bottom of the upper layer of skin, your, the skin epidermis. With the right moisture balance on the surface of your skin, you have fewer dead skin cells in the way of fresh cell regeneration. May also help the um, appearance of stretch marks and scarring. We'll let this be the last one. It's thought that shea butter stops these keloid fibroblasts, in other words, scar tissue from reproducing, while encouraging healthy cell growth to take their, face, their place. This may also help your skin heal, minimizing the appearance of stretch marks and scarring. That's why on some of the products you see, television and wherever you go do your shopping for your skin care, you'll see a lot of shea butter in it, which is really super awesome. Okay, just under two minutes left. So here we go. Now, I don't like to melt it all the way down. I'm going to, there's still some of the, the beeswax right here. You can see it's kind of like a little film. I'm not sure you can see, um, but there's a little film of that. Um, it's too hot. Um, the product is just way too hot for me to add the essential oils right now. And again, if I add them right now, it'll smell good. But I'm talking about later on, like what if this sets on your shelf for three months and you forget you got it and then you find it a year later it's going to have a rancid smell to it so it's best to wait until this cools down you got to make up sure all of the ingredients um, have been totally melted down and another thing you can do this you can make actually a whipped shea butter oh yeah this is pretty awesome so all you have to do you've got to let this cool down make sure everything's melted you need to make sure you stir it really good. Make sure it's all together. It's got to be um, got to be cooled down quite a bit. You want to get that mixer out, and then you can whip it, and then pour it in your nice little containers. And you've got a whipped oil, which is another awesome ingredient. A lot of folks pay a whole lot of money for stuff like that, you know. But thank you so much for watching. My name is Donna Fizel. I hope you learned something. I hope that, um, and I'm going to have the recipe to this um, a little bit later on. It'll be in the description of the show and again you can make your own shea butter it's got beeswax in it this is like the best stuff ever you can even use this on your lips which is good for you as well thank you so much for watching it apple in my eye thank you for coming into my kitchen i appreciate you being with us today and learn how to make your own ingredient on your own items skincare items you're going to be using a much better ingredient when it is a natural ingredient again thank you so much for watching you are super <laughs>